everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here so today we're going to be doing your love reading today we're going to be doing how will you meet your soulmate and your first date okay so we have group number one group number two group number three and number four and i'm also going to be putting crystals on the cards now we now have the crystals on the cards so we have rose quartz with group number one Clear Quartz group number two, Tiger's Eye group number three, and we have Orange Calcite group number four. So please choose your group and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started on when and how you meet your soulmate and also your first date. So let's start off with the Rose Quartz. So this is all about self-love. This is about love for yourself and unconditional love. So this is basically attuned to the element of love, it's pink, it's got a very high vibration. So for your person that you're attracting in, I feel like you're really gonna be manifested someone who's very balanced, someone who is mature, and someone who is very much ready for a relationship, okay? Which is really beautiful. So first card out is wisdom. So I feel like in terms of your person, they're gonna be very wise, okay? They're gonna have a lot of years on them, they're gonna have a lot of kind of, passion for life and they're going to help you to really embody this i feel like for some of you could be scorpios watching this but i'm getting an element of you're kind of getting a little bit lackluster with your love life you're kind of feeling a bit like is it going to happen when's it going to happen that sort of thing but be very very positive because your person is coming in and they are ready for you okay so let's have a look at when so which cards do you want let's do these two first of all so we have blessed and we also have Virgo. So your person could be a Virgo. They could be quite a nervous person. They're somebody who's very delicate, as I say, very wise, very mature. And in terms of when you'll meet them, I think you're gonna meet them at a time when you're feeling very much blessed within your own life. You feel very happy with your life and you feel very at peace with things that are going on, okay? So let's have a look, let's start off with do your date uh last we'll have your your date over here so we're going to do that last so let's have a look and just get all the cards out and then we're going to have a really big look at this person and when you will meet them so we have the star the hermit and we also have the seven of swords so this is really really beautiful so with your person i feel like definitely got massive virgo energy from this group i mean we have the hermit and we also have virgo so definitely a lot of virgo energy so it could be you or this person but i feel like you're going to meet them around a time when your daily routine is something that's not a burden to you you get up feeling really happy every day obviously not every single day but you feel very content with when you wake up you're like I have a routine and you have like a structure to your routine you're not like getting up late maybe sometimes but you just feel very content whether you're very um structured in your routine or you just feel very content with what you're doing okay so we have heal your heart and find a way to forgive which i definitely feel like there's a lot of obviously very much heart energy around this group and i just burped so that's clarification so when you'll meet this person you meet this person when you've overcome some of your fears okay overcoming your fears of commitment, overcoming your fears of um, connecting to other people when it's not so hard for you anymore. I feel like in the past it's been quite tough for you to kind of connect to people because it's just been, it's very, very tough. And it's funny how I'm um, wearing my amethyst and clear course bracelet and we have a purple iris. So definitely an element of connecting to your, um, to amethyst, to um, your higher power, to your intuition. So I feel like you're gonna meet this person when you're very much um, open to spirit. You're in the flow and things are really, really bless blessing your way. I think you're gonna get blessing after blessing after blessing with this. Um, and I feel like for you in terms of timing, I feel like I'm getting about the number two. So it could be two months. Some of you two years, I feel like for those of you who just split up with somebody or who are still really badly healing, I feel like it could be two months. Um, sorry, two years. I actually forgot we had number two. So that's really cool. I love that. So I love that clarification. Um, you could be age of 22 as well. It could be a uh, synchronicity for you also. So I feel like your person, they're very, very dedicated to you. They're going to be somebody who's constantly caring about you, constantly asking you if you're okay. Um, obviously in a healthy way, but I feel like this person just is going to brighten your world up amazingly 
like they're just going to completely make you feel so 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 content okay so let's get a little more info on when you're going to meet this person so give me a number please this one oh we have the devil beautiful so they're really learning to um, work with their um, energies they're learning to work with their um what's the word give me the word universe insecurities thank you so they're very very powerful they could be a fire sign as well and i think you're going to meet this person when you've let go of your fears and really are overcoming your fears and really feeling very very content with where you're at and i definitely think there's an element of putting other people before yourself so i really think you're going to start putting yourself before anyone else in terms of like self-love and really um being very powerful and empress-like and i think that's when you're going to meet this person when you're really stepping into your power and when you've healed your heart and when you've forgiven the past that's when you're going to meet this person so first date we have restlessness extremism idealism and quarrel quarrel i can't say that quarrel Okay, so restlessness makes me feel like you're going to be really, really, really excited for this. You're going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> and extremism is you're most likely going to be overthinking a lot. Okay. Um, you're going to be wondering, is this going to be like what it's been like in the past? But this person is going to be your ideal person. They're going to be somebody who you've wanted for a very long time. Someone you've waited for and waited for. And someone who you've always wanted to meet in terms of the ideals of what you want out of a partner. Someone who's very passionate, someone who won't run away from you when things get hard. And also quarrel. What's this make you feel? The person you're connecting to, I feel like they have two minds. Um, they could have Cancer, uh, Cancer Mars as well here. We have on Cancer Mars on this card. Um, but I feel like this person, they do have a hard time sticking to one thing. And it's because they have so many ideas that maybe you're going to give each other ideas and you might um, kind of get a bit confused on what you want to do for the first date um, because you have just so many ideas. But I feel like you're going to feel very, very comfortable with where you're at. And I think it's definitely going to be um, this person's going to have, um, they're kind of going to be fighting in their mind. Like, is this the right thing to do? Should we be doing this? Is this something that I should be carrying on doing and is this going to make me happy i'm just going to zoom in a little bit guys so you can see the cards a bit better um is this going to be something that makes me happy and i feel like this is definitely a masculine energy so if you want, are wanting a masculine or a male i feel like it's definitely coming through and it's really picking up from that because we have the two men here as well and we have got quite a lot of men in these uh cards as well obviously gender neutral but i am picking up on mainly masculine or um males so i definitely feel like for you Number two is very, very prominent. So that will be probably most likely when you'll meet your person. I do feel like amethyst is very prominent for you as well. I have my amethyst cluster here. I sell these on my shop. I just have them next to me. I love them. Um, these are, amethyst is very good for your intuition. So I definitely feel like this is a very good crystal for you. So I'm highly going to recommend that for you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading, all my information is down below with my, with my Etsy shop as well. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you soon. Also look out for um, animals like geckos, lions and ravens as well. So much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're going to be doing when and how you'll meet your soulmate and also um, your first date. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we have the clear call. So this is making me feel like... You're going to be at peace when you meet your person. Um, you're going to be at peace when this person comes in. Everything's going to feel very flowy, very easy, and it's going to feel very clear, like very just simple. It's going to be very serendipitous. It's going to be very um, synchronistic, and you're going to get a lot of synchronicities when you meet this person. And I just feel like things are going to feel very crystal clear. Like I feel like you're going to be clearing up your body, your home, detoxifying, clearing, decluttering, just forgiving the past, all of those things. We are really releasing a lot of energies, okay? So we're gonna do your date, the last part of the reading. So this is gonna be your date over here, okay? So first of all, how you meet them and all that all that jazz. So we have spirituality, beautiful. So I actually saw this as serendipity when it first came out, which is so cute. I love cherry blossom, it's such a beautiful, beautiful flower. So um, with this energy, I feel like around springtime is when you're gonna meet your person. So it could be, it could have been uh, this year, it could be next year. It doesn't have to be springtime. Pink flowers could also be your favourite flower. 
but also it could just be you it might feel like spring when you meet them just because it feels very airy very light very easy and this person's going to be very spiritual they're going to be very on your wavelength very much to do with your new persona i feel like you've worked on yourself a lot and i think you're going to meet this person at the right level where you're both kind of on the same wavelength and i love the butterfly and the dragonfly kind of combination here in these cards it's so beautiful so massive amounts of transformation and you're really climbing the ladder you're really climbing up to your highest potential and you're really working on yourself and i can really feel that with this group okay so next card let's have a look at the crystals we have pyrite let the money flow in and we also have black tourmaline protect your energy so when you meet this person you may be quite protective of your energy just because maybe you've been let down quite a few times um, but also um, you are going to be letting go of a lot of people who no longer serve you because you're going to be more aware of who you in turn kind of give your energy to and you may have given your energy to people who really don't deserve it but actually that is something that you needed at the time so it's not to bash yourself or hate yourself for that and pyrite let the money flow in is making me feel like the money's going to be really good for you when you meet this person um, your career is going to be very uh, you're going to be very well off and when I say well off I don't even, even mean money it can be in happiness as well you just feel very much in the flow you could be starting a new job you can meet a, your person at a job and you could also meet your person when you just feel very fulfilled I'm hearing a lot of prosperity and you could be wearing pyro or tourmaline when you meet this person as well I'm just getting a lot of wealth a lot of happiness a lot of just feeling very comfortable okay so next card we have are cancer beautiful and we have flexible so you're going to be at a more flexible stage in your life you're going to be able to um not fit the mold of people you're going to be able to just be who you are and not let anyone tell you otherwise okay you're going to be very um open to this person and you could be the feminine in the relationship watching this especially it doesn't have to be but if you are i feel like you're going to be attracting somebody who's also um very kind of in, into their um, emotional stability, very emotionally stable, very sympathetic, very comforting. Somebody who's just really beautiful, just so soft and lovely and light and very spiritual. You know, I get a massive amount of spiritual energy from this woman uh, standing here. And I feel like there's going to be pregnancy within this relationship as well. Both of you are going to have a beautiful babies together or beautiful babies. Um, or you could, if you are if you already have children you could be um kind of sharing your children with this person or they could be sharing their children with you um i feel like this kind of reminds me of um breasticles breasts as well so i feel like um just very nurturing and that might that may be a part of of you that this person likes obviously if you are a female um or if you're a male they might like your your person might like your top half as well okay so we then have the high priestess and we have queen of pentacles so yeah definitely your money's going to be really good and i feel like you're definitely going to be able to be more flexible when you meet this person it's going to be like oh i don't really mind where we go it's going to be fine like um and it just feels very easy like i can just see this kind of reminds me of somebody mowing their lawn because of the grass behind um so i feel like you're just going to be very easy it feels like it almost feels like you're coming in you've come into your own and therefore you don't need to kind of have any sort of permission out with people like you're not asking like where like uh where do you want to go you're like i want to go here and that's good with me you know um but you are very flexible with what you want to do and the high priestess is very intuitive so you both of you are going to have very high intuition and you're both going to be very um spiritually connected to each other the queen of pentacles is also showing me that as i say you're going to be very well off your money's going to be thriving i'm here and thriving and vibing so you're going to be um really well off within your money very stable and i'm feeling like her i'm, I'm getting a sense that her body's very heavy like her sake her root chakra her sacral chakra so there's going to be an energy of feeling extremely grounded feeling very very grounded and um just feeling like your root chakra is going to be absolutely on point and when your root chakra is really really uh, tuned in it means that you're manifesting a lot of physical things like money you're manifesting um just physical things are coming in very very easy for you so i feel like that's going to be a big sign to know when this person comes in because your physical elements can be very high like your root chakra is going to be very healed so if you are um thinking about kind of 
uh, opening your root chakra or you're thinking okay what happens if my root chakra is blocked basically you're going to lack in money or have a fear of money a fear of security not feeling grounded um you could feel very floaty um your brain could be a little bit misty so if you need a little bit of um, root chakra grounding, get yourself some black tourmaline. That'll be really, really good for you. And also pyrite. These are very both very good crystals for the root chakra. So um, I do feel like you could also offer to pay for the date, um, but this person will also be quite. I think this person will be quite well off when you meet them. So you're both going to be kind of fine over that. <laughs> okay. So we have drama. We have drama and we have defense. So. Okay, I think we need a few more cards. See what else the date, what the date's going to be like. Yeah, so both of you are going to negotiate where you want to go. Um, yeah, and I do feel like this person's going to give you money for, like they're going to offer you money for it. And I feel like they're probably going to take charge of it. And depending on who you, what your sort of personality type is, I feel like you might like that um, just for them taking charge because it's going to be really beautiful, and very easy. Um, this person may um, have a little bit of drama going on in their life, which is why they may be a little bit kind of set back on kind of going on a date with you. It's nothing to do with you. It could just be their own insecurities and they may have a little bit of a wall up. But I think that's just because they're not used to kind of going on dates and kind of really uh, being in that love energy. But I feel like you may need to open this person up a little bit. Um, but when I say open them up, just give them time, you know, and it could be on your side as well. It could be that you're going through some things and learning to balance out your masculine and your feminine and it could be quite hard for you to actually um, be in this energy quite presently you know you might be feeling a little bit floaty you might be feeling a little bit dreamy um, but also you might find them really really attractive and that might also scare you you know sometimes when we do find somebody attractive it can freak us out because it's like, oh my god I have no control but actually what you need to do is just be really kind to yourself and have fun just just literally just have fun <laughs> I feel so let's pull a couple more cards to use Let's see what the host of date is going to be like with this person and timing as well let's get timing so i feel like for you guys i'm hearing about two to five months with you guys okay it's kind of the timing that i'm picking up on this person could be a pisces they're going to make you very very happy they're going to have a family most likely with this person as i said and uh yep empress energy so that's that cancer energy coming in wow two of cups as well so feeling really satisfied with this person absolutely lapping up that love energy and all your hard work is going to pay off when you meet this person all the all the work you've been putting in with your mental health with your physical health it's all going to pay off and you are going to eventually meet the person that you really really love and who's really going to appreciate you as well so thank you so much for um watching this video and if you want to please like and subscribe if you'd like to check out my private readings all the information is down below if you want to check out my etsy shop also i sell crystals and crystal jewelry like these uh thank you so much for watching and if you want to check out any of my crystal jewelry or anything like that all the information will be down below so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here so today we're going to be doing when how and your first date with your person okay so First of all, group number three, you have tiger's eye. So I feel like you guys have really been working on your solar plexus, your sacral chakra. You've been working on manifesting healthy and uh, mature relationships with people, whether this be family, friendships, um, partnerships, or romantic relationships. I feel like you're really learning to assert your power and you're learning to really um, understand that everything happens for a reason and just to take things slowly and to not rush things you may be wanting to rush things as well so just as the universe is saying right now just take it really slowly and know that everything will come in divine timing and you're not missing out on anything okay so let's get started with this reading then so starting off with the first card we have a tranquility exactly so really being at peace so when you meet this person i feel like you're going to be very at peace that's going to be the number one understanding when you meet this person and i feel like i'm getting very breathless with this group so your heart chakra may be opening when you meet this person and also you may get a little bit of nervousness anxiousness and feeling like um quite breathless as well so because this person is so freaking sexy um <laughs> but also um you're gonna feel like things are really going to be hotting up for you as well like you're going to feel a little bit anxious because it's such a big deal for you I feel and I just burp so that's clarification so these cards are going to be for your date so we're going to have a look at those for the first date in just a second okay so let's get a couple more cards let's do the crystal cards first so we have black kyanite set strong boundaries and we also have sodalite speak your truth 
So this is also what I've been saying about you coming into your power. You're resetting strong boundaries. Both of these cards are really about stepping into your power. They're talking about um, setting strong boundaries, speaking your truth, really talking about how you really feel and not letting that kind of slide or go under the rug, like really being yourself and just speaking about how you really feel because why not? Because you you have this power to speak up and use it, you know, because that's what's most important. And you're going to meet this person when you're really in your power and you're really setting strong boundaries when you're not letting anyone come into your energy, especially those of you who are connecting with exes, um, people who are negative. I'm not talking about exes like all of them because some of them, you know, we all have different circumstances with ex-partners um, and, and ex-friendships. So it's obviously up to you what you do. But for those of you who are really feeling guilty for letting somebody go or feeling like it wasn't a good thing to do, maybe, oh, maybe I made the wrong decision. You did not make the wrong decision, okay? If this person is treating you badly and they're not treating you with respect, they're not the person to have around, okay? So this person who you're gonna be meeting, your soulmate's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be such a beautiful relationship, really, really easy. And it's gonna you're gonna be able to really kind of just be your complete whole self. And it's gonna be so relaxing for you because you may feel a bit anxious at first because possibly from previous situations you've you've had to put a guard up and that's that can make you very anxious because you can't be your complete self. And I reckon that's why a lot of people have anxiety because they're really having to put up this front in many different ways. Sometimes they don't want people to see them as they really are. And it can be really hard, especially when you're empathic. A lot of us empaths do have anxiety or have manifested anxiety in various ways because we've had to really push down who we are. And this person is going to really help you to be who you are and help you to express who you are as well. So we have Imagine, we have Leo. So you can manifest in a Leo. We then have the Death card and the Lovers. Holy crap, that is intense. So massive, 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 massive endings with this person. Um, let me just zoom you in a little bit. So you're going to feel really, really intense with this person. Everything's going to feel like intense city, okay? You're going to be letting go of everyone who no longer serves you, who no longer feeds your soul, and you're going to be manifesting somebody who completely feeds your soul, who completely completes you, you know? And But you're going to feel complete all on your own, and that's when you'll meet your person because you don't need anyone. That person's going to settle in nicely into your life, and it's not going to be a big deal, but it's going to be amazing. And this is somebody who you've imagined for a very long time. It's the, the relationship of your dreams. And the, this Leo card is the lover, you know. It's, it's the, the energy of someone who's completely and wholly um, adoring you and there for you. And someone who's very creative, very expressive. So they're, because you're working on your throat chakra, they're going to be working on theirs as well. Learn to be very, very expressive. So in terms of this group, it's going to be very varied as it is a general reading. But I feel like when, I feel like in timing, I'm getting six months for you guys, but I'm also hearing uh, two months and I'm also hearing summer as well. So just keep that in mind. I'm actually hearing summer 2019 as well. Those that is for some of you uh, a very specific message. Um, so we also have the card of the death card and the lovers. And this is very, very intense. Okay. So the death card is Scorpio energy and the lovers is Gemini. So you could be either those signs or that could be your person. And I feel like this is when you're no longer be, going to be indecisive about you or how you are in this life. I feel like you're very much connected to your power, what it is you really want and stepping into it and really telling people what it is that you want. So yeah, I really feel like for you guys, it's going to be very important for you to just let go of your shadows and really release anything that no longer serves you. You're going to have a massive decluttering energy for this group, really letting go of things that no longer serve you. And I also feel like you may get uh, messages from old people, past lovers. You may get tempted to go back into your old patterns. So this is me telling you now that you that may happen. So just be aware of that, especially with all the intensity going on. You just want to go back to your comfort. This person will be your comfort, but also find that comfort within yourself, okay? But this person's going to be the person for you. I mean, the lovers and the death card, so, so beautiful. Very sexual energy as well. Okay, so your first date <laughs> organisation. I love that. That's well cute. <laughs> Uh, we then have seduction. So funnily enough, seduction was kind of in the reverse, but I put it in the upright because I, I felt like I really wanted to do that. So the fact that that was in the reverse could mean that you guys are kind of wanting to push the person away out of the feeling of um, possibly becoming too close to them. So you may have been in relationships that were very um, dissatisfying in terms of intimacy, but also 
um, you could have struggled with intimacy issues. Uh, there could have been a, a partner who really didn't appreciate you, someone who didn't really love you for who you were, possibly were horrible about your body image or your hair or your face or something like that. And you may have felt the need to change it. So you may feel the need to kind of back off from this person, but the intimacy is gonna be absolutely amazing. And this is kind of making me feel like you may actually do you know, intimate things on the first day as well, if that's something that you want to do, but it will be perfectly timed. And oh my God, guys, did, did, anyone, did, did anyone else see this? It's like 10, 11, 12. That's insane. Like I shuffled the cards really well. So that's like so synchronistic. So this is you ending an old cycle with a 10, and then you're now starting this new cycle with this person. So this new day is gonna, this day is gonna be very easy, okay? It's gonna be like, unlike any other date you've ever had, it's gonna be very mature. It's almost gonna be like a business meeting. That's how mature it is. And when I say a business meeting, it makes it sound really boring, but actually, because of the organization, it may seem a bit like a business meeting, but it's gonna be a meeting, that, it's gonna be a meeting together that really suits you. So it's gonna be really comfortable at your level. So for some of you guys, you may meet at a pub, you may meet at a restaurant, for those of you, you might meet in kind of like <clears throat> a nature energy. You may even meet at like a herbal store, I'm feeling like somewhere near that's like a herbal store, somewhere that sells herbal tea or organic things, even maybe organic beauty products as well. But when you're in an independent energy, that's when you manifest this person there and they're gonna be so um, sexually attracted to you because you have this very seductive energy because you're very independent and that's, that's very, very attractive. Um, and we have organisations, so it's going to be a very organised day. Uh, this person's going to be really organised, you're going to be really organised. Like, how attractive is that? Someone who organises things for you. I mean, that is so, so, so sexy. I mean, I have a lot of Virgo in my chart, so I like a bit of organisation. <laughs> you could also have Aquarius Moon. We have Aquarius Moon here. And we also have uh, Jupiter in uh, Pisces. And we also have Mercury in Capricorn. So we're going to see what else wants to come out for this person. I'm getting the song Sunflower by Post Malone. I'm pretty sure it's Post Malone. I don't really listen to his music, um, but I do know that he's a really talented uh, singer. So I feel like this person might like Post Malone as well. Um, they're probably very creative. There's somebody who do likes to, and um, once they get excited about something, they get really excited about it. So that could mean um, essentially as well, but I do feel like they're just very passionate. They have quite a lot of Leo or fire energy. I mean, we have the Ace of Wands, that is really sensual. And we have the Emperor, which is also very sensual. I'm trying not to say really intense words right now. <laughs> I'm really holding myself back. I feel very proud because I'm a Scorpio, okay? I feel like the need to say these things, but I'm not going to <laughs> because obviously the age range is gonna range from different ages on this uh, uh, video, so. With the Emperor, this is Aries energy. So this is gonna be somebody who's very assertive, um, someone who is a very, very sexual, okay? Okay, I just had to say, it just came out of my mouth. This is my intuitive hits. Three of Pentacles, you could meet them um, with their friends. Um, that could be something that's more comfortable for you. Um, you could meet this person while you're with your friends. But I do feel like their friends are gonna, I'm hearing let their friends help you. So that could be like you are moving house and then you date this person and you're like, oh, I need somebody to help me move, but I don't wanna ask. But they're like, no, like my friends are there to help you. They're your friends and you know, so it's kind of like you're just intertwining very easily and nothing is a big deal with this person. It's like, everything's casual, it's sorted, it's fine. When I say casual, I mean, not I mean they're not committed. I mean that they're just really easy going, you know, they're just, they accept you for who you are very independently and um, they're independent themselves. and. When they see you, they're going to be like, damn, damn girl, you pretty, <laughs> okay? So um, I also could also see for some of you guys, you could be experimenting with very colourful makeup, colourful eyeshadow, that sort of thing, even maybe colourful contouring. So uh, you could also be connecting with your creativity and really expressing that creativity as well. And you're releasing all of this energy, which is so beautiful, releasing all of this negative energy and really coming into a very beautiful space. And you're figuring out who you are as well. You're really figuring out that you have dreams and aspirations and you wanna be like that, that is who you wanna be. And it's always reminds me of like a ballet dancer. So you could be a ballet dancer, they could be a ballet dancer. Um, yeah, I love that, or even just a dancer. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Look out for 555 as well, that's on the, um, on the camera and also number three and four. 
Thank you so much for being here. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below and also my Etsy shop where I sell crystals and crystal jewellery. Thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're gonna to be doing when, how, and your first date with your, your future soulmate, okay? So with this crystal, I feel like you guys are gonna be connecting with somebody who's very much into their passions, very much into their creativity. Um, you could be working on your solar plexus when you meet this person or they could be doing the same. And this is much. This is very much about success and confidence. So I feel like this person who you're gonna meet is very, very confident, very sensual, and they're very creative. They have a lot of creative hobbies that they wanna share with you as well. I'm picking up on photography for this group. And also just art. I feel like just art and expression is very important. So, ooh, lovely. So we have the card of luck, Bells of Ireland. So, Ooh, same for group number from group number three. I feel very, very breathless. So I feel like you're gonna be very, very nervous when you meet this person, okay? Oh, it's gotta calm down. I feel very, very like ooh, out of breath and anxious. So don't be anxious, guys. It may be quite nerve-wracking when you meet this person, but you're gonna feel so lucky. Everything's gonna flow, everything's gonna be really, really easy, okay? And um, these cards here are gonna be for your date. So we're gonna have a look at that in just a second. Um, and then let's get a couple more cards. So let's clarify this luck card. We have Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. And then we also have Sunstone, take pleasure in the things you do. So as you can see, there's a lot of orange <laughs> with this group. So definitely much to do with your sacral chakra, much to do with your um, solar plexus as well. So you're working on your creativity. Um, and when, I, when it says schedule yourself in, I feel like this is about you really putting yourself first. And um, you have a lot of stuff on your plate, I'm hearing, and you're really not putting yourself first, so make sure, making sure you're doing that. And to also um, figure out what it is that you really want to do in life. And even if it's something small, um, it could be something really big for you. And maybe ha and having the confidence to actually execute that and do that and really kind of um, bring that into your awareness. So if there's something that you've always wanted to do, definitely go and do that because that may be where you meet your person. Um, it could also mean that there's something that you're, you're currently doing and you're not really having a lot of pleasure in it. It depends what it is, depends what it means for you. It can be a certain friendship, it can be um, a connection, it can be like a habit that you have, really deciding whether that's something you wanna um, partake in, whether that's something you want to entertain and really letting it go if it's something that's not really meant, if, not, if it doesn't feel like it's something that's meant for you and spreading your wings and doing something that really is out of your comfort zone. Um, and I feel like you're gonna meet this person when you're very much trying new things um, and it could be like really small things. It could be diet change, which can be actually a really big deal. Um, it can be changing your clothes. It can be putting on makeup or not wearing too much or not wearing any makeup at all. Um, it could be, yeah, I'm hearing like false lashes. So maybe that's kind of something that you're experimenting with or something that you're not wanting to wear anymore. So deep knowing reverse. No, this is upright. Okay, so deep knowing. We then have Jupiter, beautiful. And we also have the Four of Cups. So yeah, very nervous when you meet this person. You're gonna be like, oh, don't know if this is the right thing. But when you meet this person, you're gonna have much more happiness around you. You're gonna feel much more pleasurable in the things you do. And you're gonna to need to actually take a lot of time out because you may be doing too many things. And if you're not doing much at the moment, uh, get ready because you're going to be doing a lot of stuff and if you're doing a lot of things for other people right now you're going to start scheduling yourself in and really focusing on what it is that you want to do what is it that you've possibly been spending too much time on other people where you could be focusing on yourself using that time for yourself and actually focusing on like a hobby or something that you really enjoy you're going to have a deep knowing that this person is your soulmate you're going to have a very big change in your perspective about yourself and then therefore your mind is going to expand your awareness around yourself is going to expand and therefore that's when this person comes in because it's like you're going to have a massive shift in perspective you're going to be awakened to some new energy and it could be that you see yourself in a different way you see possibly a partner that you're currently with in a different way therefore you may want to um not be with them anymore and then then that leads you on to your future partner obviously this is obviously just take it as it resonates but i feel like this four of cups energy is like here the cups here and i do feel like you're working on intimacy issues because you may not want to take it up at first but it's going to be really really beautiful so in timings for you guys i'm actually hearing the number three so for some of you guys it could be three years um, but if you feel like your partner's coming in soon i am feeling about seven to nine months for this group could be about 12 months as well but i feel like it's quite a while for you guys um i feel like if you're going through a lot 
this person is going to be a little bit more time if you, there's not really much going on right now with you and you're very much enjoying life things are kind of easy i feel like it's going to be a shorter amount of time so about probably about six months i feel um i'm feeling the six of cups it's coming in the six of spades just feel like the number six is very important for you guys and i'm also seeing ice cream so you might be having ice cream on your first date so first date with this person enterprise lovely so this person's going to be very very intellectual we have eccentricity and we also have ostentation. So this person is going to be very, very, um, they might, they're probably going to flirt with you like so much, which is going to be very attractive for you. I feel like they might try and offer you things like um, roses and, and want to buy you things. And that may be something you like, but if it's not something you like, you may just have to tell this person, like, that's not really my thing. But it's probably because you haven't had a relationship, for, uh, can't speak, you haven't had a relationship for quite a while. And you might almost stop yourself from receiving. So just be aware that that may be something that you're working on right now before you meet your person so you can receive easily. Especially with intimacy, you may feel the need to not take your clothes off fully when you do things that are like intimate. You may feel the need to kind of pull back. And that's natural, you know, especially when you meet someone for the first time. But it's definitely going to be a very intimate relationship. And I feel like number five is very important also palm readings because I'm really looking at that hand um so I feel like palm reading is going to be something significant for this person um but your first day is going to be very interesting you might actually try to read their palm on the first day if you know how to do that I feel like also um you're going to be doing something that's quite different and I feel like it's not going to be like a casual cafe day it's going to be something kind of weird but fun you know something that's going to be really kind of um bonding for both of you and it's going to be quite eccentric quite crazy you may even go to like a fair dress up as like fairies i don't know something crazy even like glastonbury Fest festival i'm picking up on um or coachella or something like that um we have ostentation which is making me feel like this person's very grand they might have quite a large car um quite an expensive car but they do take pride in what they wear and what they drive so i do feel like that's going to be something that's important to them we have death and rebirth so when you meet this person you're going to be going for a massive death and rebirth and you're the way you see yourself is going to be completely different to probably what you were like even like a month ago you're going to be shifting so quickly and you're going to be seeing things that are masked that are now becoming unmasked okay so um i feel like things that kind of hidden in the back you're going to start to realize things about yourself and you may want to hold on to what the, you have out of security I mean we have the four of cups and the four of pentacles I feel like some of you guys you could look like this as well um some of you guys you could have um brown skin with dark hair as well I'm really picking up on that and you may like wearing or you may like wearing head scarf or you may like orange eyeshadow that kind of thing um and also we have the four massive new start and then the four oh my god four of pentacles four of wands and the four of cups wow massive amount of four energy so you're going to feel really really happy and that's so funny because every time i see this i think of festival and uh, literally just said about a festival so you're going to be really enjoying yourself and it's most likely going to be something that's quite fun like a fun fair or amusement park or something but there's going to be new energy and you're going to feel really really happy and you're going to meet this person um definitely a time when you're feeling really really happy with your life okay you're going to be doing what you really really love and this is going to be a time where you're just very much enjoying um, who you are and not really needing this person. This person's going to be an add-on to your life, a beautiful add-on. And you're going to meet this person um, serendipitously as well. Um, you may meet this person through work. You may meet this person through actually like a festival or something like that. Something that's like a group gathering with people around you as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. I have an online jewellery store. So if you want to check that out, I have crystal jewellery and crystals. So thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.